<laughs> yeah, it was very like nonstop. Like I would be playing baseball to have a game on like Thursday or something. I've had basketball practice on Tuesday and Friday, then travel on the weekend for AAU tournaments. So it's like nonstop throughout the whole year. I'm playing basketball and baseball until baseball season over. Then it was basketball season, boys club and AAU on the weekends, or it was just nonstop. And like I played for a team out of Fort Smith. It was all the better players out of Fort Smith. And the furthest we would go would maybe be like Memphis. And then when I got into 10th grade, I played for the Arkansas Hawks. And then we started traveling a little bit more. And then my 11th grade year, I played for the Woods. And that's when I really just shot up on the scene. I actually liked baseball more than I liked basketball when I quit baseball, just because, I don't know, I was good at it. I played pitcher in first base and I hit I hit really good. And I, me and my dad, like, we just go to the batting cages and I would just hit. And I don't know, I loved it. It was so fun to me. And, it just came to a point, I was 6'3 in eighth grade and I had to pick one or the other and I feel like I made the good choice. <laughs>my freshman year I was coming there learning I wanted we had older guys we had guys that already established who they were in college basketball like so I just came in and trying to I try to do whatever the team needed me to do rebounding taking charges setting screens blocking shots getting rebounds just playing hard and that first year I was just trying to do whatever it took for me to get on the court then the next year I was already established what I was going to do I just added more to it added scoring and assisting uh, handling the ball more just things like that and really my role just was so much bigger that second year Honestly, most of my work came that freshman year. I was, when I wasn't, at the beginning of the year in the non-conference, I wasn't playing. Like I was getting DMPs. If I was playing, it was like five, seven minutes. So I wasn't really doing anything. And I would go straight from the game, go in the locker room. We have our little meeting as a team, our talk as a team, go back out, shoot in the main gym. And I would go straight over to the practice facility and get a two hour workout in. So it'd be like, we would have the late game sometimes, 8 p.m., not get done until 10, 30, 11 go straight over to the other gym, work out for 11.30 to like 1.30 in the morning, go home, be back at the gym at uh, eight in the morning again to work out. And that's really what my, like I was consistent with that. I was working out 8 a.m. every day, shooting before practice, after practice, and some days I would come back. And that's when most of my work came because I wanted to be ready for when I had the chance to show it. Yeah, so my dad, everything basketball he's done with my whole life, like we've been in the backyard, like. We had neighbors that messed up our backboard and like a glass backboard and he went to the store. Like we weren't, we didn't have the most money. He went to the store, got a piece of wood, like cut it out backboard shape, put it on the backboard. Like I had a wooden backboard for a couple years of my life. And, but yeah, my dad, he used to do everything with me. Like after high school games, we would stay in the gym until in the morning, like working out if I felt like I had a bad game. And one day we were working on a spin move. Like that's become one of my better moves I've done. I'll do a spin move. and. And we were in there, he had the little pad and he was like showing me how to spin, hit him with my shoulder and spin off of him. And I hit him with my shoulder and his shoulder popped out of place. And he went straight over to the wall, popped it right back in place and picked the pad up and was like, come on. Like, and like, that's what makes me want to go so hard. I want to go so hard for him knowing what everything that he's done for me. I think my dad shaped my whole life. Just, he's so independent. He's a great father. Like everything I do is for him. And like, we've become best friends. As I got an older, we talk about everything. And like, I have a screen recorder when we were on FaceTime and he FaceTimed me, set up the phone, pulled out a chair and was like, and was like, this is what you should have did when the guy guards you. And he was like doing a move. And it's just always been like that. He's always had me watch film and it's kind of just became a habit for me. And I used to hate, hate when my dad would do that. Cause we'd be in the backyard playing 21, me and my cousins, and he'd be recording through the window. And then we would come inside and I'd be like, dad, we're just out there having fun. Like I wasn't trying like, and he'd be like, no son, like you gotta get better. You gotta do things like that. And of course at the time I didn't understand it, but now I understand like, he was building my game about, or my IQ for the game of basketball. He was teaching me things to see plays ahead and steps ahead on different things. And honestly, like I'm more than thankful for it now because without that, I wouldn't be anywhere where I am today. My brothers, we used to play in the backyard and they'd be trying to back me down. And I'm, they're all 10 plus years older than me. So of course they're bigger than me. We would play horse and they'd be out there dunking and I couldn't dunk yet, of course, and just having to play physical. And now when we play horse, I'll dunk it. And now they can't dunk and they're like, oh, you can't dunk. And it's just fun, but definitely playing with older brothers, older sisters, them playing aggressive, um, playing with their friends in the backyard. That's what definitely prepared me to play harder this day. 
me, honestly, me and my family are so close. Me, my, my dad and my brothers, and my mom and my sister, like we're all so close. Me, me and my brothers and dad, we'll go bowling or we'll be at my brother's house and we're just so competitive. We'll be like, I bet you're not faster than me. And we'll go outside and just run down the street. And it's just so competitive. And they've all like shaped who I've, who I've become today. It's great. Honestly, the thing that, that impresses me the most is that everybody's out there taking charges. Of course, I'm not used to that. I'm used to being the only one taking charges and just seeing guys out there willing to take charges, willing to put their body on the line, willing to play defense and play hard, be aggressive, block shots, chest, willing to try to go block everything on the rim. Just playing with guys like that that's willing to put everything on the line, it's great. I think we're all cool. Like, we can all laugh on the bus. We're all joking around. Me and J-Dub, we got really close. We, I think we've been going every. If I do go somewhere out here, if we've been going everywhere together. Uh, us rooks, we went out to eat together, talking, laughing, and like we're all super good friends, and it's it's fun with these guys for sure. Honestly, I think that you just gotta have fun with it, and then I think if you're having fun with it, that's when you're gonna play your best basketball. That's how you, that's when you're gonna be your best self. And if you love the game and you're having fun with it, you're gonna play freely. You're gonna go out there, play, not worry about a thing in the world. You're just gonna have fun, just like sitting in the backyard, shooting on the wooden backboard. Like it's gonna be the same thing, and I just always try to have fun with it. Honestly, putting on a jersey and playing in front of a home crowd, just, I know that there's gonna be a lot, my family's gonna be there, and that's gonna be a dream come true my whole life. I've been waiting to, like I'm putting on an NBA jersey now, but I feel like it's gonna be nothing compared to playing at home in the actual jersey in front of my family. My family's not here, playing in front of my family, friends, like that's the one thing I can't wait on. And I can't wait to learn, learn and get better, become a better player, a better person, better man. I can't wait to see my family in the crowd, see them after the game. Uh, they all got jerseys already. Uh, when I saw them put it on, it just made me so happy. And it's, I can't wait for it.